These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. <sighs> It'll be great to get back to the Octoport and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it, my belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <laughs> There's a monkey? Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice sea grass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Aye. Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, me favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, me least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We're the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's, uh, head back to the Octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. Octopod to Gap A, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the Octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A fast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet Octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Oh. Oh. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppy's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the Guppy. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. Lappity flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! There'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! 
holding on by her tail. Whoa. I'll get as close to her as I can, and then Quasi, you... Quasi? Yow! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But daddies don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashie. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast, because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir. Leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Do you see him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Look! A seahorse! Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice! Thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic. I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Oh. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> what are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles. And that really handsome Dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a firecracker. Wonderful. Another shell for our research, Captain. Let's measure it. 
Here's the biggest one yet, Shellington. Look, there's a little sea star stuck to this one. Oh, yeah! Don't be frightened, little sea star. We're the Octonauts. Who are you? My name is Twinkle. How interesting. You don't look like the other sea stars in this rock pool. Your arms are longer and you're a different colour. Well, actually, I don't live here. I kind of I sort of got lost. Oh. Then let's help you get found. To the octopod. All I remember is I was crawling and then a big underwater wave picked me up and it dropped me on that beach. Maybe if we knew what kind of sea star you are, we could work out where you come from. The problem is, there are nearly 2,000 kinds of sea star, and they live in every part of the ocean, from the top to the very bottom. So how will we find her home? We'll have to look in a lot of places, Peso, and some of them could be dangerous, me hearties. Very dangerous. I miss my family, and they must be so worried about me. I want to go home. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise we'll get you back home. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to search the ocean top to bottom for Twinkle's home. Quasi, Peso, into the guppe. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Aye, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home, and I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy! There be one! Wow, that's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me! Me! I'm the sea star. Of course you are! Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> Nothing here but my hat. <sighs> Phew. Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me, I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Hmm, 
I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. Yow! Wolfield! <laughs> they eat sea stars too! <laughs> this way. Looking. Phew. All right, everyone, he's gone. Let's. Oh, look at Twinkle. Wh what? Aye, she's glowing. Doesn't everybody glow in the dark? <laughs> no, but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean the midnight zone. It's safe. Back to the cup, Octonauts. Next stop, the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <laughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. <gasps> this could get bumpy. <laughs> 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 supposed to happen, right? There you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the Midnight Zone. Wow. It's really dark outside. The lights are broken. And inside, too. The engine's working, but we're not moving. The gut must be wedged in. Well then, we'll have to go out and unwedge it. Octonauts, let's put on our special deep sea suits. But it's blacker than a pirate's teeth out there. Will we have enough light to see what we're doing? Hmm. I can help with that. A little more towards this side, please, Twinkle. Aye, aye, Captain. OK, ready, Octonauts? Now, push! <laughs> Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Well done, me hotties! The gup is free, but this hole is full of twists and turns. Aye, we'll need more than the light from one little sea star to get out of here and find Twinkle's family. Flappity blippers! Well, I'll be. They look like stars. They are sea stars. Twinkle, is that you? Daddy! Mummy! Granddad! Where have you been? We were so worried. Thank goodness you're home. Everyone, these are the Octonauts. They helped me find my way home. That's right. We searched the whole ocean from top to bottom. Now, if only we could find our way home. Maybe our new friends can help us. Daddy, Mummy, we need to get everybody together. The whole family and all our friends. Right you are, Twinkle. Ready for liftoff, Octonauts? Aye, 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 Captain. Then let's go. We're heading home. Goodbye, Twinkle. Goodbye, me hearty. <laughs>